Hey guys and welcome back to Gaming with Shelley and today we are starting off a new kind of legacy challenge and this is where I want to build a strong witch bloodline and um, so obviously like the, the if she has female babies the bloodline will be a little bit stronger if she has wizards it'll all depend on how strong the bloodline is for them to be powerful now I did go searching um, on the internet, all over Google, anywhere I could to see if there was some sort of a challenge like this and there was a few out there but not in lines with what I wanted to do in order for me to, to build a strong bloodline. Of course we started off with a mortal. Now I had her go and we met, um, hold on one second, I'll get his name for us. She met Simon. Now it's spelled a different word. She met Simon Silver Sweater. Okay. Uh, Simon Silver Sweater. And of course, he agreed to be her, you know, her mentor and bring her down this path of becoming a powerful witch. She wants to be a purveyor of potions because to her, it's more along with the career path she's going. She's a gardener. She wants to be able to go and be a freelance botanist very soon as well as herbalism because herbalism was passed down to her from her great aunt. Now I took some of the bits and bobs from different uh, challenges for um, what I was going down. So she's after inheriting the house from a great aunt who taught her all about herbalism. So she's very, very, um, she's very top skilled with the herbalism. Um, so now she wants to go on and kind of um, follow her in her aunt's uh, path um, before her aunt passed away, the, her aunt confided in her that she used to be a very powerful witch and then she fell in love and she gave up her um, her whole um, path of being the most powerful witch in Glimmerbrook. Um, so the reason she told Mimi about this is because she wanted Mimi to make the decision if she wanted to go down that path or not. So. Some of the challenges took from there was a great aunt who left a house and some money. So this is what we've done here. She's been left a beautiful little uh, tiny home with enough land to expand if she, if need be. She'll have enough money to expand her garden um, into a bigger one. But right now she just has a little area. Um, she is also going to follow in the path of her aunt. She's going to try and take back some of that power, but she has to work for it. She has to work really, really hard for it. So she has to be able to keep her witch studies um, in line with actually having a job. And then as we go along, we will add some more rules to it and we will make this our own. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this challenge. And uh, yeah, let's get into a little bit of gameplay. So we have, of course, Mimi Dig. Now, my nickname um, in real life is Mimi, and I am fascinated with anything to do with this. I am absolutely fascinated. Um, I have a great friend who actually, she can be pretty good at um, <laughs> making me actually go for stuff that I want to do. So I do follow um, a couple of um, pagan festivals myself, and um, I absolutely love the one that we just celebrated and that was Imbolic. We are of course coming up to, oh we've passed um, Ostara. Okay, I forgot to celebrate Ostara. But I want to kind of um, include them in our calendar and stuff like that. And I can put in what everyone sell, what we do on those days and things like that. So I hope you guys don't mind. So for... Of course, Imbolic, which was February 2nd, it is um, resting. So it's a day of rest and you just kind of chill. And then we have this Spring Equinox, which of course has a different name, the name I just sent out, but this Spring Equinox. That has actually passed, our 23rd of March. But we're going to pop that in as well because we've started on Spring here with her. Then next up we have uh, Balton, which is planting season. Between, all right, well, between spring equinox right up until summer solstice is the planting season, and then we have between summer solstice up to autumn equinox is growing, and then from the autumn equinox right up to winter solstice is harvest. And we also have um, Samhain, which is also known, known as Halloween, and then yeah, we've loads of holidays, we're going to pop them into our calendar. I just want to make sure that we have the calendar set to right, okay, so for each. 
season you have three months um, so I want to make sure that when we're doing this that um, it's three weeks for each calendar so whether okay so seven four all right we only need 21 days for 21 days for this book because it only gives you a 7 14 or 28 then where I am because I want to have a, a, a you know like a yoke every single week to equate to what we have right here so um I don't know I'm going to leave that at two weeks and we're going to try and um, fit the yolks in there. I also want to turn off some stuff. Um, I don't want this whole um, eco thing at the moment because of the fact that it does really um, mess with the aesthetic of every single game. Okay, so she knows Grace. And she also knows CS and he's her mentor. He's teaching her and um, things. So they're neither friend or foe, which is grand because he's her two or they will become close because obviously he's gonna be teaching her stuff. This is Princess, this is her familiar. I did have a beautiful cat named uh, Princess who was my everything. So I actually am very, very happy to um, be able to put her in the game. She was a tabby coloured Persian um, so I made sure to get her as close as possible as I could with my girl. Um, I have a pet, okay, a hug. Also let's lecture about jumping on the counters. Okay, So just going to kind of make sure that Princess is um, very very well looked after and she doesn't feel like she needs to run away because um, this game has an absolute habit of doing this. Okay, so Princess is rela relaxing. I have her little bed outside um, so she can... Alright, so I got this house off the gallery. When I figure out who did it, I will actually pop their name up in the description as well. Um, I really need to take better care of <laughs> um, all of this. Okay, so... Um, it's a tiny build because I, we're going to say her aunt had this house and it was all she needed and stuff like that after her husband passed away. I was going to create the aunt but then I decided we'll go, we can put her in the story. <clears throat> I will type up the um, the rules that I make as we go along so that you guys will be able to keep up with this as well. So um, yeah, I'm happy to get started on this. So I'm going to show you first, like, so she is now a spellcaster, she wants to be a purveyor of potions, she did travel to the magic realm so we had to, to meet Simon and we have to learn a potion a recipe for us to get the first part of this done. Um, I am still just kind of experimenting like to make for all of this. I'm going to show you her traits now, I gave her two. She's family oriented because she does want to have a strong bloodline. She is a cat lover. Loves the outdoors and she's a collector. That that's an extra part of it. I have got her out of the spotlight. Um, I thought I got rid of this, but apparently I didn't. So that's everything there. I wish we could like so like these are her parents, and I I should have thought this a little bit further ahead. Okay, but um, I love that we could keep an eye on the stats. Okay, so the things I chose for her here. Is we're going on the potion route okay so blender arm so she'll need that for the potions and oh knowledge is magic okay we are going down the route of what um which is a pra practical magic i think it is um so i'm just gonna have her working on potions and stuff um and building up her knowledge i think we do need however to go to the magic realm every so often Two, of course, or you need to get her gardening skill up to level two. So, I do have her go around every so often and use the land pretty much to get, you know, herbs and stuff like that that are growing, you know, wild in the natural habitat. Because of where her house is, um, and if you were to go into the house, yoke, um, here, I'm actually going to pop here and I'll show you. Um, it was written up. Oh, we have no tra house traits. Okay, let's push. Um, 
What's a geomet? Heating or on utils? Okay. Natural heating. Okay. She's magical. She should have stuff like this. Um. I want great soil. And then I want the quake zone. It's equation in the minor tremor here. Probably nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what about sunny aspect? Hmm. A study spot. Fucking our training ground. Spooky for more explicit reasons. This lot attracts wandering ghosts. Okay. Now I thought we'd have the haunted trip, but I think I need the other the new pack for it. So I'm gonna leave that part open. But this house, um, it's a tiny home for two sins. Okay. When we, I'll go back to the the lot location, I'll uh, be able to kind of. But it was like the owner of this house mysteriously disappeared one night, um. And this house, obviously because it's close to the where the magic realm door is, um, the person is to protect it. So it, it just makes more sense that this is where she, the aunt would have the home. And so, but yeah, <laughs> I know, I know it's all scattered right now. The first episode is always scattered, but we will be working hard on getting her up to the next part um, of this. Oh, 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 princess, no, princess, sweetheart, lecture about scratching, okay, right, I love when it does that, okay, no, forget that for a minute, you have to lecture her though first, I thought I closed out the, the eco thingy, okay, so a lot of things I want to get this time around is, I want to collect pear trees, welcome to the neighborhood, okay, is this one of your friends, it is, oh, look, uh, Tamax Kalesh has come. <clears throat> okay. So, um, invite the neighbors in. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Friendly, respectful introduction. Okay, you don't need to do this now. We have visitors. Okay. So, anyone who recognizes Grace knows that we do see her a few times in the. What do we call it? A magic jewel. We can have a magic jewel already. Awesome. Okay. So let's get to know everybody. Ask about their day. Look, here's another one. She's the mischief magic um lady. Oh look, Simon's up. Oh, it's your job. Thank you, Simon. Okay. So Simon is really, really sweet. But um, we're all about you know building up our bloodline and we have to make sure that we meet some people ah, ah. eating the food are you for real lecture okay so we have to kind of like reinforce friendships and know the bloodlines and stuff like that and um, I have to kind of uh, <laughs> I think look on the gallery for a very powerful family bloodline um i know the charms the charm family are in glimmerbrook but i want to kind of branch out i don't want it to be a local powerful family because obviously you're going to have a feud with the local power family because they don't want you like taking over some stuff look at you really need to go to the bathroom so let's get that going we need to get her, like, we do need to go back to Glimmerbrook, <clears throat> but she's in work. Actually, we can go now. Okay, stop talking, just go. Oh my god, please, seriously, stop. Just stop, just stop jumping on the counter. This cash, I'm telling you. I'll resume the chips and salsa. <laughs> okay, so for the herbalism, we will have to go to... Where is it we have to go? Um, the jungle, is it? Oh, no, no, we have to do the, go to the camping um, place and get some of the unidentified herbs. Okay. Now someone brought fruitcake. Ugh. No one likes fruitcake. Okay. Okay, so the welcome wagon is over. I'm going to have her dig this stone right now. Then I'm going to have her travel to um, 
the magic realm as well and we're going to see if we can oh and just like that it brings us I actually really like the fact that we have a stone that just brings us automatically to the magic realm okay so she doesn't have a wand yet or a broom but I think I want her to focus a little bit more on building her skill as a witch before we get her her wand and her broom. That should be something we do once um, we have learned a potion. So I want that, I want her to have learned a potion first before we buy her her broom and her wand. I think that's the best thing to do. So, come on, my lady. Okay. We are here. Okay. So the best thing we can do is go find look at them all in the rooms and she's like, I'm just over here. Okay. This is the Sage of Mischief Magic. Now we want to be on good terms with every single one of them. So we give everybody a respectful um Alright, we're gonna search for some to uh, tomes as well because we wanna learn um some uh, potions. I kind of love that they have a a cauldron in every room. This is right. This must be a young lady that's learning as well. Uh, there's Daryl Charm. <clears throat> he is one of the family members. Oh, he's got a strong magic line as well. And it looks like he doesn't use a wand at all. Are you dueling? I don't know. Oh, he's cleaning up books. Okay. So she's having, she is just being, like, chatting with this woman. Ugh. Bad aftertaste from eating poorly made food. Ugh. I'm so sorry, girl. There is, uh, we just met him. He was at our house. That's to Max Kalesh. Um, oh, see, uh, Simon is here. So let's go and make friendly with Simon because he's going to be, he's our mentor, so... Um, brighten his day. Whoop! There we go. That's bad, bad genes are here. I forgot to mute my phone, guys. Okay. So like, he is amazing. Are we dueling? Okay. So he is awesome. We're not. No, no, we're not doing that. Uh, magic. Okay. Uh, ask him if he'll train you. I thought we were already, he was already training us. Oh, he is. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. We have our first training session. That's cool. We could invite him over on the days that we cannot get to um, uh, the, ooh, the magic realm. And he could teach us some stuff. No, thank you. Okay. Did we get any tomes? No, but we have got a lot. Okay, we'll collect crystals as well. Uh, who's this? Chill tomorrow. Tense. Uh, feeling uncreative from creative trait. Creative students need to create and you can begin. Uh, you don't have to create trait. I'll get you an easel when we go home and you can paint, okay? Okay. So, what else can we do with Simon? Uh, no grace, thank you. Um, okay. So you can ask the teacher potion or potion recipe, but he might say no. Okay, so let's fast forward the training. Ooh, there's a battle on. Oh, of course, Daryl Charms here. And what Ila Ila Kapika Go go go! You come in. <gasps> you won him. Maybe we should have you on our side. Give a respectful introduction as soon as you get a chance. Okay. She's just about done. How is this going for her magical genes? It's going pretty good. She's in halfway to the next level. We still need to learn a potion. So we do. 
Wait, do we find any tomes yet? No, no tomes. Okay. She needs to find some so she could study. But can we order some as well? Oh look, we've got a special impress. Mimi's sentiments and about Simon. She's impressed with him. Um, Simon sure knows what he's doing and Mimi has nothing but respect. <gasps> oh my god. Mimi has been taught a new potion recipe and has been given a sample. One po portion of nausea has been added to her inventory. Alchemy. Okay, we got the potion of nausea. Wow, okay. Mandrake and dirt frog. Oh my god, yes. Well, thank you, Simon. Oh, he taught us a recipe. Like, that's awesome. Okay, awesome. Okay, well, that's, does that mean we complete the first part of this? <gasps> Yay, okay, we're on the second part. Let's have a look at this. Um, Bubbling up. Reach spellcaster rank 2. Alcatel. Um, Alcal... Alcalala, on a cauldron, and no three different potions. Okay, so we know we know a potion, but that's not counted. Oh, we have satisfaction points already. That's awesome. Uh, discussing new potion. That's so cool. All right, thanks, dude. You're so awesome. Um. No, we're not going to give him the potion, but we are going to head on home because it is getting late and we've got work in the morning. That's it. We found a familiar. An owl. Or of the six of owl. What a fortune this... What? What a fortuitous meeting. Okay. Okay, and we're home. All right, and I worked on the calendar as well. I put some yolks in. So we have here, we have got embolic which a lot of people call Bridget, uh, St. Bridget's Day, but it's originally called Imbolic. Um, so we have cleaning and the bonfire and baking bread and stuff like that. So I have them as the activities. Then you just have your normal here, night on the town, blah, blah, blah. Over here, we've got our second mom, which is the spring equinox, and we're gonna be doing festive lighting, a grand meal. I popped in the egg hunt as well because um, I couldn't find where it was meant to go. So I'm hoping I did the right thing there. Gardening and a thankful spirit. And then we have, um, for the first day of summer, which is also the first of May, we have Bel Beltan. Belton, Belton. I'll get the pronunciation, I promise. And on those days you do gardening, It's um, you gather around the bonfire, give flowers, um, you jump into water. It's all a, a, a thing. I will have all of the means for this. And it's her birthday, but we'll wait. Then we have Alithia, which is um, the end of summer. And we will be gathering around a bonfire, doing some gardening and telling stories of family history. And then we've got the first day of autumn, which is called Lamas. And there was another spelling for it, but I couldn't pronounce it. So I went for the Irish version, which was a Lamas. And um, this is, um, it's like, it's bread day. It's like the making of bread. So we will be baking bread on Lammas. Um, then we have, of course, a Mabin, which is where you write lists and things like that. So I was like, we'll use air grievances and things like that. So anyone we were angry with, we can air our grievances without any consequences. And we'll gather around the bonfire. And you can do bonfire activities, like the food that you would cook on a bonfire. That's what we'll be doing. So like s'mores and marshmallows, things like that. It's all very, very cute. Then like the normal harvest fest day, I changed it to um Samhan Han, um which is kind of like a cross between that and um Halloween. So we left it at the sa the sam sa la 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 la. la. Um, what we'll do on that day is we will decorate, we will wear some costumes, trick or treating for when we do have the kids carving pumpkins, and then we appreciate objects or so appreciating appreciating the little things that we have. Um, so like that. Now I stopped at that because um, everything else kind of started contradicting each other. So I want to double check before we head along with doing these. But I know for the fact that we will be doing Imbolic. Why are you so angry? Oh, all right. I said I was going to buy her an easel. Um, we need to get a bonfire, I think it is, for, you know, our first kind of 
ritual. So I'm going to move that out there. Alright, so I'll get her an easel. Because um, I don't know where she's got this creative thingy from. But we will get her an easel. I'm not going I don't want to use any custom content in the house because like it's already glitchy enough without using that. Alright, okay, so let's get a bonfire. It's like outdoor activities, isn't it? I want the one that we can cook on. I don't think we can cook on that one. We can on this one. It's in that's a when you dance by this bonfire, make sure to get ready into it just so that onlookers believe you're inciting ancient in resurrection rituals. Reassuring that your necromancy list only includes dinosaurs and dildos. Double creatures, what could go wrong? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I need to get a bit more cover as well for them. So like um when she does start doing all of these rituals and things, um people aren't going like what are the ash? Okay. Okay, is that everything? I think that's all we need for now. Yeah. Oh my god, I want I want the bee box. I want her to be one with nature as well. I want the bee box. We can afford it. Yeah, we'll get the bee box. And I'm just kind of thinking right at the moment, um, where are we going to put our garden when we start to expand? Put over here. Right. The cauldron and that is going to be just like, I'm going to section it off. Like, so we're going to have trees and stuff and flowers around there. Um, yeah, I think it's all I need. Ooh, this gold, a good old fashioned bonfire. Maybe this one's the one we need. I oh, know the other one sounds better. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that for now. So let's have our Sam just kind of work out her creative kinks because she's bugging me. Alright, you go do that, okay? Where is Princess? She was coming to initiate pet from Mimi. Are you okay? Mimi, I think you might you might need to pet the cat. Okay. There we go. Okay, she's gonna do some painting, it's gonna help her with her whole creative whatever is going on there. This is the bonfire. We need to get candles and stuff like that. Let's just double check for embolic. Cleaning, fire, baking. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't think our baking skill I hear you've been building What? I hear you have been building your magical press. Would you like to put it to the test and duel me at the dueling grounds? And uh, no, we're not ready for that. No. Okay, can we get into this? I haven't tried. So we have to get our baking skill up in order to be able to bake bread. So I will get her to do a lot more baking. It's part of it. Why do you keep scratching the furniture, dear? Can we just give you a lecture? No, we cannot because we didn't see you do it. Okay. Okay. Can we bake in this cooker? If not, I'm going to have to move this windowsill up. Okay. Mm -hmm. She acquired the baking skill. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, uh, back, back, back. Okay, so she worked on this. And we're just going to sell it on. Who's this? Lilith Fator, why are you at my house? You keep walking. Bye. What's it with vampires? Can we lock our door? Alright, no trespassing and disallow vampires. Thank you. I can't bake it. Okay. Okay, okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. Okay. So, you, my dear, have to go up. These have to go up too. Oh, wait. They don't want to go up. Okay, do you know what? I, I don't understand why I don't, I wouldn't like, I'm doing this at the moment with my plants. Um, I've got some of them gathered outside my back door growing. Um, I've got, I've got plants in my window in my bedroom. So I don't know why I wouldn't do this. Anyway. Okay, 
Can you do it now? Okay. Resume your breadsticks. Alright, well, breadsticks is bread. It's still bread. Okay. Alright, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's how we ba do our baking skill. Did we not? Um, achievement, what makes the sim turn neutral? Okay. Okay, so I replaced the pop to picture, the first painting she ever made on a wall. Mmm, that's an area filled. Okay. Can we just pretend like she painted her her scenery? Okay. I don't want to fit I don't want to sell her first painting ever. Seriously, cat? Seriously? No. No. Do not eat the bread rolls. Oh my god, seriously. Put them straight in the fridge. I do want her to keep on doing her baking skill as well, so. Um, keep making the breadsticks, they're the cheapest things to make. <laughs> Only two simoleons. Princess has learned not to jump on counters. Oh my god, queen, queen, queen. Finally. Okay. Um, friendly. Right, uh, pick her. <clears throat> Oh, good to know her. We are now level two baking. Okay. Um. Are you automatically painting by yourself? Uh, from your, Mimi's putting all this inspiration into their work. At some point, they'll have to find some more. Okay. All right, we're level four painting already, which is cool. Um, okay, level 5 charisma, programming, oh yeah, because I took her away from the tech guru job. So, are you okay, my dear? Alright, okay, with that, when you're finished that, I'm going to have to get you, or you're already doing it yourself. Okay. Okay. Alright, so she's going to go into work in three hours. Um, what is she doing? No, 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 no. Discard this, please. It's not for that. You want to do that with it? You can brew potions and experiment, okay? Okay, so I'm going to have to have her go to get some food and have a bit of fun before she heads on to work. So that's enough of that for today. She's uncomfortably wet. Overheating. Is it warm? Okay, she's going to go to work. Okay. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I... Okay, where are you? Okay, did we wash it? Did we wash it? I don't know. Okay, I think we did. No, what's wrong with princess? Give her loves. She wants loves. Okay. Um, I need you to change out your clothes as well because you're just uncomfortable and uh, change this. Did they change her hair? Change outfit. What's what's happened here? Okay, you've no top on this one, you've no hair in this one, but every other outfit is fine. Are these all your everyday ones? Okay, I only thought she had one out there for every day. Um, can you please get some food? you got to go to work soon. Okay, guys. So, I'm just going to let her go to work and we'll pick it up at the end of the so day. So, the first thing you do when you come home from work is just want to paint. So, I just have her go on to go and experiment in the... Uh, oh, this thingy. <laughs> um, I'm going to have her also bond with the bees. They're calm. So, I'm going to have her bond with them. And let, um, of course, little princess make her face, okay? Um, I gave her an attic decorating box just so we could decorate the house for spring. Because um, Imbolic is tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, so in the next, second episode, we will celebrate Imbolic. 
Um, I just want to see how you guys like this episode. I'm already really enjoying it. I really, really like all this. What? What's all this? What are these? What are these? Okay. Can we get some more magical plants? Oh, we can. The more intense her career gets, like her gardening skill, we can, of course, buy more plants and things like that. But for now, oh, I forgot we had this. We will just keep getting starter packs and hopefully getting new things. We have some parsley to plant. So I'll just have her plant that as well. And plant the parsley, talk my dear. Okay. So guys, I am going to end the episode, of course, here with our beautiful lady experimenting for some of her witchy witch needs. And guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're told every time I upload a new video. And if you've enjoyed it as much as I, ha as I have recording it for you, make sure you smash that like button. And I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye!